All right, what's happening, crew? We're back with another episode of the Oz Trails Finest. This morning, we find ourselves in a really cool zone. This is one of the newest spots. It's up in Bella Vista, trail system called Little Sugar. Now, some of you may be familiar with that system, some of you may not. It's gonna be roughly 50 miles when it's done, but this spot in particular, this one's kind of unique. This is one of those session zones. And this was built by a company that's, I don't know, they got a bit of lineage to them. So you may have heard of a place called, I don't know, Angel Fire or maybe Whistler. Yeah, that's right. The company who built these dirt ribbons is Gravity Logic. So today we're gonna break down this zone and show you what some of these sweet dirt ribbons look like. Are you ready? Okay, so <laughs> what's going on here? Basically, this is a zone right in the middle of Little Sugar. So there's a couple ways to look at this. If you're out riding, uh, like a cross country, cool trail ride, you'll come across this and you can session a little bit. Or a lot of people have been just coming here for this spot only. So they come here just to ride this stuff. Now, a couple things you need to think about. First is, well, what sort of skill level do I need? What sort of bike do I need? We're gonna cover all those. Let's start with the bike first. Um, we're in the woods, so I figured why not bring a party to the woods and I brought out the transition spur. So a couple different reasons for this. One, I dig this bike, but two, I wanted to be on a smaller bike. So it's a 120-120 bike. You don't need a massive bike here. You can ride whatever you want. You could probably have a downhill bike here if you wanted. You don't need it. So if you're out on a smaller bike, a cross-country bike, don't be afraid to come out here and check some of this stuff out. Now, some of it, a little bit higher skill level, I'd say. We're on the main jump line called Air Raid. What you do is you roll into Air Raid and there's a pretty decent little drop in. If you're not comfortable with that, don't even bother hitting the rest of it. There are a couple of other lines here that are very progressive that will help ramp you up, give you some confidence, give you a little bit better feel for what it's like to hit these things at speed. So now what we'll do is we'll work through each of those, give you a little bit of insight. All right, so we have five different trails that we're gonna work through and break down here. The first of those is gonna be Tango Whiskey. Now, Tango Whiskey, as you can see, is a blue trail. It's literally nothing but berms. And these are some of the coolest berms that you will ever see. They're absolute works of art. So this is pretty slick because what it does is it allows you to get a little bit more confident going downhill and dealing with some of these berms. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna roll down. I'm gonna give you some POV and talk you through it. What you can do is you can head over to the right and hit this trail over here, it's called Tango Whiskey. So a few pedal strokes to get in. And then from here, man, Gravity Logic, they laid out some dirt waves. So really cool, because what you can do is practice getting the bike high up on these turns, but more importantly, get the bike leaned over. So what you want to do is match the angle of the turn if you can. So they're short, but they're steep. And if you get the bike leaned over to match, they'll work really well. So nice and fun. Pretty much go as high as you want. Start to get comfortable on some of these big sweeping 180s. And what that'll do is that'll help get you a little more comfortable when you hit some of the other high speed trails around here, like Kohler, for example. So a fun little run. And again, we hit that cool return trail right back up tango whiskey right there it's only one problem with that trail when you ride it you're not sure is it a trail or is it art you'll see what i mean when you come out here those berms are beautiful gravity logic <laughs> they laid down a fun little trail to help you get comfortable with berms now come through have fun eyes up try to match the bike angle to the angle of the berm once you're comfortable on that a few runs through you can start to hit the others Okay, so two of the other trails here are Rendezvous and Invasion. So we're gonna check out Rendezvous this time. You see green here. Um, this is probably the lowest key of all five of these trails. So Rendezvous rolls in, keep your eyes up, look ahead. It's fun, it flows, nothing crazy on it at all. Uh, it's, it's an opportunity to kind of get your legs underneath you if you're not comfortable with this sort of riding. 
can carry a little bit of speed. Uh, it's got some great bridge crossings. It's pretty cool. So we'll go break down a little POV, give you some shots of it. All right, here we go. First trail to the left, green trail called Rendezvous. So if you're just rolling up, want to find something to get warmed up, this one is a pretty good choice. So pretty low key, get you on some flowy berms. And this one's cool because if you look to the right, you can see a couple of the other trails. And again, this one's fun. This one's more suited for almost every rider. So if you're new, you'll love it. If you're a more experienced rider, what you can try to do is, I don't know, maybe manual through some of these different rollers. Really cool bridge. And then this is just nice and fast and wide. So with this, heck, I'd even have Dex cruise down this on his Provello. So real fun. And another thing that's kind of neat is the way this is set up and structured, you could even ride uh, a gravel bike on something like this. So really cool, big bridges, sweep through. Again, trying to manual and have some fun. And you really don't have to pedal for most of this. You can just kind of cruise through and there you go. All right, another one in the books, Rendezvous. Pretty sweet little trail, mellow, great green, solid way to start or maybe lead in to this point right here. Where we're at now is we come back onto the little sugar trail system. I believe this is uphill both ways. So you'll see some signage right here. We're gonna hook a right, roll back up slowly with our eyes up because it's two-way traffic to head back towards the top, hit the rest. Let's go. All right, so we're getting fairly deep here uh, and we've shown you a few different trails. Well, now it's time for an invasion. So great name for a blacked diamond trail. This one drops in right next to Rendezvous. Now, what makes it a black diamond? Couple things. We have something called shark fins. Don't worry, they don't have laser beams on them, but they're fun little features that you can kind of bounce off. There's a few different jumps, couple of hips, really rad left-hand turn with a double out of it. And it's just fast, it's fun. Uh, gives you a tiny taste of what I think they have in the Pacific Northwest. So I'm gonna stop talking about it and I'm gonna show you. Let's go. It's time to go for a little black diamond action over here on the east side. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Invasion. So this one comes in, a little shark fin right there. And then this is rad. So you come into this whoosh, little hip to the right, just float over through here. They keep a little rawness in there. Now this is probably the shortest run on this side, but it's so fun. So you hit these burns, watch this. Try to manual, ah, couldn't quite make it. Hop out of here, boom, off this. Hit the cool double coming out. Really fun little trail. Ooh, there we go, the invasion. Short but sweet, packs a punch, really fun trail. Some rad features, you can get going ripping fast. So once you come down at the end, You'll kind of weave back up. You got the sign that says, do not enter. You're gonna intersect rendezvous. You'll see the sign right there for return trail. It's gonna take you right back to the top. So you can hop in and do it again, and again, and again. Okay, so now <laughs> what we're gonna do is we're gonna get to the, uh, the goodness here. We're gonna get to the, uh, probably the star of the show. It's Air Raid, so you can see the black diamond. So what that means is, be prepared. So if you're fairly comfortable jumping, you're gonna absolutely dig this. If you're not, I probably would say build that comfort level up a little bit before you come here. These jumps are amazing. The takeoffs are absolutely incredible and the distances aren't too bad. But here's one thing that's incredibly important. I can't stress this enough. Once you roll in off this, don't pedal. Trust me, do not pedal. And I know it's counterintuitive, but if you roll in with a decent amount of speed off this entry point, you're gonna have plenty. Pump the downsides and the takeoffs are built to allow you to clear them without an issue with the speed that you are carrying. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop in and we're gonna break it down uh, almost jump by jump to give you a little bit better feel for what they look like and how, I don't know, how I might tackle them. 
All right, wait a minute. You hear that? You hear that siren? That's right. It's time for an air raid. <laughs> so we're about to rip into this super fun jump trail. Now it all starts right here. So depending on where you are as a rider, fancy yourself a jumper, maybe early in your jump journey, this is a pretty good spot. If you're comfortable with this drop in, you should be pretty comfortable with at least the first two jumps. So right here, you come in, you hit this, or there might be another option. If you're feeling it, you wanna get a little steezy, you can go off here to the right. There's a narrow little alternate approach that gets you down to the same spot. Now, first jump, like I said, cruise in, don't need many pedal strokes, hit that first one, second one's gonna build a little bit more. If you're still trying to work things out, bring the confidence up, you can hit those first two, stay to the right, and then there's a little return trail that comes back in the middle. If the first two are money, float those, pick up a little bit more speed, and float that third one. Let's go, let's drop in an air raid. This one's big. This is the third jump in this line. So third of five, and these build really well. So I wanna make that point. Now, I know you pre-rode, re-rode, and free road, but still, if maybe you're thinking about dropping into this, you're not incredibly comfortable. The first one, awesome. Fairly short, plenty of pop to get over it. Second one builds a little bit more. This third one builds in proportion because you're bringing a lot more speed. But if you're comfortable hitting this third one, the fourth and the fifth will be absolutely no problem for you. So I'm gonna show you how I hit this third one. All right, so we're here. We're about halfway down. Excitement level is probably really high at this point. You've hit three pretty burly jumps. You're having a ton of fun. Now at this point, again, hopefully you're heeding those words, don't pedal, don't pedal. So here, you're gonna flow through after you come down that huge landing into this section, which has a couple rollers downhill. You're gonna pump those things. And then there's a cool little fade away step down, big right hander, and then whoosh, you're gonna hit the last two big jumps. So again, check your speed right here. Coming to this point, you can get away with it. Getting down here, if you're carrying in too much heat, it can have a tendency to get a little bad. The last two jumps are awesome, but generally you need to go a little bit slower than you think. All right, yeah, yes. All right, roger that flight control, thank you. All right, sorry. Just had to have a quick chat with NASA because we're here at the last jump in this line in Air Raid, and this thing right here NASA approved to put you into orbit. So like I've been seeing the whole way down, slow down. These last two jumps, you're carrying a ton of speed. The takeoffs build a little bit more than the previous jumps. So there's plenty of pop on these things. Come in slower, get a feel for how much energy builds. And if you have to come up a little bit short the first couple times, then let it extend and nose it right into the landing. Now the last one here, it's kind of cool because you have two options hit the inside first, so it's gonna be rider's right as you come into the end. Then work your way up to this, but trust me, you're gonna come in a lot slower than you think if you hit this left side. Either way, absolute blast. So once you land here, you roll into the finish and hit the return and go back up to do it again. This is one of the raddest jump lines here in all of Northwest Arkansas. So you can go to the right over there, hit another alternate, but seriously, once you roll in, no pedals. Just float that first one. Next one builds. And again, I am not pedaling. Just cruising, carrying my speed. Decent sized third one. Now, if you get over the third one, no issues. I think you're, you're golden. Cool little step down. Get us ready. This one's fun. And then you can go left and hit the big booter or stay right and kind of work up to it a little bit. But again, that one's awesome. The first three build very well. <laughs> oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about right there. Air Raid, super fun. Uh, some of the biggest, coolest jumps in any of the Oz trails. 
So you'll, you'll catch a lot of people out here sessioning these. Incredibly fun. Uh, you don't have to go fast. Like I said, you don't have to pedal. Roll in, stay relaxed, keep your eyes up, have some fun. I need to go. <laughs> I need to go hit it again. That's too much. Oh yeah. Last, but certainly not least, shock and awe. Now this one, this one might be my favorite for a few different reasons. Now you're looking at it going, Rich, it's a blue trail. How is it your favorite? You got two black diamonds over there. Well, I'm gonna tell you why. This one is right across the street from the other four. <laughs> Part of why I like this so much is Shock and Awe is a great name because you can absolutely destroy this trail. You can get going scary fast. However, I would also bring Dex at four and a half years old on a 16 inch bike on this trail. This is one of the most broad trails that I have ever seen in this area. So for me as a rider, I'm gonna go ripping in, I'm gonna keep my eyes up and I'm gonna have fun jibbing through it, scrubbing the jumps, trying to manual as much as I can. But if you're a newer rider, this is a perfect spot to come in and start to get comfortable traveling at a higher rate of speed and dealing with obstacles as they come at you quicker. So I'm very excited about this one and I'm even more excited to break it down and show you some steezy shots. Like, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to go really fast. So I really hope it looks fast. All right, here we are at Shock and Awe. I alluded to earlier this being one of my favorite trails, a couple different reasons. I dig it because I can get going scary fast down this. You can absolutely rip into it, go as fast as you want, just shroud some turns, have a bunch of fun. Or if you're a newer rider, you can slowly build up your level of comfort going as fast as possible on a trail like this. Now, what do you need to be careful about? Not a whole lot, honestly. I mean, six of these tabletops, they're a little small, so be careful about over jumping them. You're coming in pretty fast, so remember the energy's gonna build pretty quick on the takeoff. And then in addition, there's a couple of kind of sharp turns. That's it. So keep your eyes up, shift down, rip it, and have some fun. Pretty much any level of rider will enjoy this because if you're trying to get comfortable hitting jumps, these first couple are pretty mellow and fun. But then also what you can do is you can pretty much go as fast as you want once you get into this. So it may not seem like it, but I'm carrying a decent amount of speed. So I have to scrub these pretty good and then I can rip out of this. So to get a newer rider where they're comfortable dealing with high speeds in a friendly environment, around here I don't know a better trail, honestly. So cool little cavern you drop down and then just kind of wind through, keep your eyes up, look left, see the end, rad berm, cross this good looking wooden bridge. That is fun. Um, I, I almost don't even know what to say. Uh, shock and awe is a pretty damn good name. Uh, ripping fast. Like you can get as fast as you want to get going, as fast as you're comfortable going. You can just keep pushing the limits. Um, I love it. Super fun and you got this little return trail up here so you can go up and do it again. Like I literally, I challenge you to not come down here and do this four or five times. It's crazy. It's like not even like a Lay's potato chip. It's like an Ozark Mountain Bagel. I dare you to lap it just once. I'm gonna go do it again. your plans to visit Bentonville and bike Bentonville 
like our friends from Colorado. When you make those plans, make sure you put this one on your list. A short drive from, uh, from town, a little bit north, probably 15 minutes to this spot. Really fun zone, as we've shown you, in the midst of the Little Sugar Trail. So if you're out here pedaling a big cross-country ride, you can come by and hit this, or you can just come straight here, park here, and session all these things that we've shown you. So great spot for a pretty solid mix of riders. So I would say have some trail experience if you come here. And if you're looking to get a little bit better at jumps, you can hit the first couple at air raid. If you're looking to get a little more comfortable at speed, shock and awe certainly will do that for you. So hopefully this helped, gave you some good insight on this zone up here. Stay tuned and check out all of our other episodes highlighting the Oz Trail's finest. You can also follow along with me at the Rich Drew on Instagram to catch some behind the scenes or heck, if you're coming here, shoot me a message. Uh, I'll give you some insight, maybe the best coffee the best art, the best food. Um, either way, hope you're a subscriber. Uh, we're gonna wrap this up. We're gonna go make some more videos and we're gonna bring you some more goodness here from the Oz Trails in Northwest Arkansas. So with that, on behalf of my crew, peace out dumpers. <laughs>